Hi, welcome to Paranormal Captivity. Today I want to give you an overview of the difference between residual hauntings and intelligent ones. A residual haunting is not really like an actual apparition, traditionally. The ghost that you're experiencing is is like the definition of a ghost. It's something left over from a person. It's energy left over from an event, and usually it's a traumatic one. Once this event takes place, the energy contained within it is dispersed, and it can either be dispersed into the ground, into the building, the, the brick, the stone, whatever it's made of can hold the energy, and then that energy kind of forms it into a recreation of the event on a constant loop. So if you're experiencing events in your house that take place very predictably, or at the same time of day, or if it's something that happens all the time and you can't seem to interrupt it, it's just doing its own thing, that's a residual haunting. You don't really have any interaction with it whatsoever, so if you are sensitive to this stuff, or if you are doing any kind of like EVP work or ghost hunting, you're not going to get a direct answer back. Instead, you might overhear a conversation or something that doesn't really seem to make sense for what you're asking, but that's because you're kind of just witnessing something playing on a loop. Over time, energy kind of will dissipate and then build back up, so there's a chance it could go away on its own, or that more people or more interaction or other traumas or anything like that could reignite the energy and make it come back stronger. So you might have like a fluctuation in the intensity or frequency of what you're experiencing, but it's still going to be very consistent. Now the one awesome part is that if you're doing a paranormal investigation and it is a residual haunting, you are more likely to catch something because you're able to track it kind of. You know exactly what to predict, where it's going to be, where all of these incidents occur, so you're much more likely to get something tangible and real in your ghost hunting investigation than if it's something intelligent, because with an intelligent haunting, they have a mind of their own that's still working. Intelligent haunts are usually divided into two different groups. On one side, you have entities that are confused or scared, going through something where, where things just aren't making sense for them, or they need clarification or clarity or have unfinished business, things like that. On the other hand, you may have visitors, and with those, they're more connected to the individual than the place, and usually it's like a family lineage thing, and they come around whenever a family member is really ill or about to pass on, or maybe they'll come around for like a big celebration or their favorite holiday, but that's more of like a visitation. With a normal intelligent haunting, it's just an entity that kind of wants attention on the most basic level. Pretty much what its desires are either unfinished business, fear of what's next for them, or confusion that they don't realize where they're at or what happened to them. A lot of people have fear when it comes to intelligent hauntings because you get such direct responses. So with these, you might ask a question and ask for a sign and something will happen. Or you might be doing an EVP session, ask a question, and get a direct response immediately back. With all of those, they are intelligent. They can actually see you, communicate with you, understand you, but with the residual, they're doing their own thing without any interaction from you, really. You can try and influence them to move on, or to comprehend where they are, or to understand that, hey, this is where we live now, you need to back off. Sometimes you'll get them to go away, or move on, or just be more cooperative in your environment. Other times with the attention-seeking ones, they might not go away. As for risks or danger, neither of them really pose a threat. Like I said, the, the intelligent ones really just seek attention. The residual ones are just doing their own thing, so it's not like they can hurt you or break their cycle. I just hope that this kind of clarified any confusion you may have had, or if you are experiencing things in your home and you're not sure exactly what it is, maybe now you'll be able to tell the difference. I hope you enjoyed the video tonight, and I will talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye!